All right, so, so the recipe calls for three cups of flour. We're gonna just do six, guys. And this is all I do is I put my scoop thing in there and then I just use my finger to weigh it out. It's not a big deal. And that's four, five, and six. Hopefully you guys are all doing well for the holidays. And maybe you can even chat what you guys do for the holidays. We're going to do two tablespoons of yeast. This is just an instant yeast. Um, and I weighed it out before the show. So we're just going to dump that in there. And then I need one cup of warm water. These aren't, this is, uh, hopefully you guys will follow along. Probably ain't baking like me at 11:30 at night, but <laughs> so we're gonna do. Um, let me go back and read. It says one cup of warm water. We're gonna do two cups of warm water, and I just use plain tap water. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna let that run a little bit. Next, we're gonna do a quarter cup of sugar, but we're gonna double that. Everything I do, we're just doubling. So that's one. And that's two. And then it calls for one egg, but we're vegan, so we don't use eggs. So I have what they call energy egg replacer. And you use one and a half teaspoons for one egg. And then it goes um, plus two tablespoons of warm water. That equals one egg. And so when I bake with this, what I do is I just stick the um, egg replacer right into my into my pot I don't or to my bowl I don't um, measure the water stuff out. you don't have to you can add as you go so remember I said two cups of warm water always test it you know you can put your finger in you can even use the back of your wrist like that Okay, so this here is a two cup. Yeah, it's a two cupper. So I just dump the water right on in. And the egg is, again, one and a half teaspoons. So I'm doing three, three teaspoons of egg, energy egg replacer. And that's all you do. Hopefully you can see that the chat's coming right up in the middle, so I can't really tell. And um, the next ingredient for this, um, these are dinner rolls. So the next ingredient is the salt. I know I saw salt down here. So it's one teaspoon. We're going to double that to two teaspoons. So two teaspoons of salt. We did the egg, the yeast. Um, we don't use butter. So we're going to use um, applesauce. these little um, containers of applesauce. I don't know what that was. <laughs> we're going to use this and we're going to um, measure this out and uh, we're going to go from there. So when you're doing um, butter, like if you're doing butter in a regular recipe, you can do applesauce that replaces the oil or the butter in this case. And it's um, two tablespoons, so we're going to do four of these. And I just dump it in. You don't have to be too precise. Okay, guys, this is the fun part. Now, we're just going to use a hand, or you could use a spoon if you have it. But I'm Italian, man. I like to, I like to feel my dough. <laughs> so I'm just going to do everything by hand. It's going to get a little messy up in here. But this should be fun. And what I'm doing here is I'm just rolling around and kneading it as I go. How many we have on chat, honey? One. Oh, okay. Can, all right. Can you guys thumbs up? 
and share so that more people will come in. Please, thank you so much. So that's all I'm doing is uh, just using my hands to knead it. I'm gonna knead this for quite a while. I wanna say 10 minutes, but I hope it ain't that long. <laughs> It's just until everything gets incorporated. And so, yeah. Um, I hope you're all having a nice time. And uh, it's nice to have new friends. And subscribe, you know, and share if you can. <clears throat> And I have a little heater running in the background, so if you guys hear that little sound, that's what it is. But, yeah, see, it's starting to, tension's starting to build in here now. And I'm just going to keep rolling it and rolling it. Now, the recipe said, um, once I get it all rolled up, um, I mean, all kneaded up, then it says to um, let it sit for about an hour to nine, 60 to 90 minutes until it is doubled. But this is kind of like what I like to do. It's just kind of knead it in the bowl. You can knead it on a, a table too, but I'm not going to. And then you're adding flour as you go because you don't want it sticky. Just like that. And just keep going the more actually that you when i first started making bread and buns and things like that i was always afraid to actually knead it but the more you knead it i find the better off that your dough becomes just like that and starting to get a nice consistency now you can use two hands if you want So what's nice about this recipe is that you can, um, like I said, once I get this to uh, raise, we're only going to raise it once, and then you're going to um, cut the dough in half and make balls out of them. And the balls will be, uh, you know, just the regular dinner size ball. If we're still on, I don't know if I'm going to let it go that long for an hour, but once the dough's done raising, you make the balls in little circles like that. And then you can freeze them into your freezer until um, you need them. So if you, like for me, I'm going to um, freeze them because we're not using them until Thanksgiving. So the morning of Thanksgiving, then I will bring it out of the freezer and let it sit for about three hours till it um, thaws out, you know. And then from there, we'll bake it in the oven. And that goes... Um, 350 degrees for 16 to 20 minutes and um, you could put it in a 9 by uh, 13 grease your pan um, or in my case I'll use parchment paper and uh, then you can put it in that you can even this recipe doesn't say this but you can even do little cupcake pans and make little individual rolls like that too if you want so yeah any questions? Let's see, oh, thank you so much for your support. <laughs> yes, it's been three months. I subscribed. Vegan, thanks. Oh, thank you so much for the subscription. <laughs> Hopefully you're enjoying this little live stream. I've never done a live um, baking before, and I thought maybe it would be quite fun. See the tension building up now? Pretty good see what the dough looks like it's very easy to work with too maybe I'll hold the recipe up again this is not my recipe I just grabbed it off the internet but uh, if it comes out I can hold it up uh, I'm just covering up the I don't know if you can see that um, but that's the recipe you can screenshot it or something but uh, 
or rewatch, whatever you want to do. Okay, now like I said, it says to grease the pan, but I'm not. I'm just going.